Natalie. Thanks again for another question. Um, given any polynomial equation, if it's factored like this, and you would like to find the x-intercepts, what we're going to do is we're going to take the equation, and we're going to set it equal to 0. And then we're going to solve for each factor equal to 0. So kind of like you're used to doing in algebra. x plus 1 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, and 2x minus 5 equals 0. Well, if x plus 1 equals 0, then I subtract 1 from both sides to get x equals negative 1. If x minus 2 equals 0, I'm going to add 2 to both sides to get x equals 2. And if 2x minus 5 equals 0, then I'm going to add 5 to both sides to get that 2x is equal to 5. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2 to get x is equal to 5 halves. So these are the x-coordinates of your x-intercepts, and your y-coordinates are always 0. So you can write them in as an ordered pair, like so. And then you're all done. Thanks again for your question, Natalie, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.